Yo, good morning, everybody. Charlie checking in on this beautiful Sunday. Ha! Reaching out to all my angels and demons. Mwah! Right there. I haven't done that for you guys in a while. I had to throw it at it to you. Stop doing it every day, but you know you're my angels, you know you're my demons, and uh, I, I'm going to still eventually show, occasionally show you guys some love. So, happy Sunday. Hopefully you all are doing bangerang. Uh, let's pull my shoot out. So, yeah, we've got a bunch of things going on today, so uh, let's go ahead and entertain you guys. Today's going to be a good day. A good day. Good day. Oh, yeah. Baby, 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 baby. Let's see here. I'm going to give me some milk. Milk. It does a body good. You remember them old milk commercials, man, where he'd sit there and he'd look in the mirror, what he wanted to be like, or whatever. He'd see what he wanted, and then, like, kid look in the mirror and see a baseball player, Mark McGuire, or something there, and then drink your milk, kid. Milk does a body good. <laughs> we used to love doing them kind of damn commercials. Yeah, y'all know. I don't mean Michael, man. We just, like, we drink a Pepsi or something. We have to. It's your world. Enjoy Pepsi. It's my It's your world. Enjoy Pepsi. So, anyway, for Sunday cereal, we're going to try to do Cereal Sunday every Sunday. How about that? Cereal Sunday? Boop! Fruit Loops. Start with the best. Fruit Loops. Now, um, the cereal, they got Fruit Loops with marshmallows in them, and those are just bangerang. So. And there's also this other stuff I call dog food. It's uh, it's like the cheap, it's like the cheap food. It's the Malto meal brand, but it's banging, man. It's got the, it's got the cocoa, little cocoa rounds with marshmallows in it. Mm. It's my favorite. I call it dog food. I'm about to be a five pound bag of it. I sit there and grind away. But ever since I was a kid, it's always been Fruit Loops. So starting cereal Sunday. Fruit Loop style. Started off big. Fruit Loops. So. Get it some nice little bowl in there. Now, I would do a Craig Bowl, but it's Sunday, not Friday. So. Milky, milky. Some people think milk is weird. Are you one of them? Oh, it is. Some people think milk is weird. Are you one of them? So I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? You are stimulating a cow's nipples until something comes out. I don't know. You tell me. Well, oh, gee. All right. So I don't know who the prankster is, but there is a hole in my bowl. Ugh. Someone use it as an ashtray. I wonder who. Man. <laughs> well, we have officially started Cereal Sunday off right. I've been chilling out here with my babies. Hey, boo -boo -loobies. They know that they got something good. Because my man Mario at Purple Hearts got them some doggy treats. So, got them some doggy treats and got me another selfie stick because I lost mine. I found it, but uh, I, you know, I'd lost it for a while. And this one is actually a better selfie stick. It's made, I guess, especially for you know the iPhone. So, we're about to hook this up and give these doggies some treats. Time out. See, we got us here. There we go. Ooh, that's from Mario. That's from Mario. Y'all tell Mario thank you. Hmm. You tell Mario thank you. Hmm. You like that, don't you? Come on, baby. Want another one? Oh, boy, he's getting it. 
Good boy, yeah. I wonder how they taste. <laughs> it don't taste like bacon. Hey, girl. I just tried some of the begging strips. <laughs> you nasty boy, you nasty. You nasty boy, you nasty. You know human eat vegan dog food. <laughs> Leave him alone, boo. Look at him. <laughs> Look at my boy over here. <laughs> Boy, he think he's something else. I bet. I bet if that day of if that fence wasn't there, he wouldn't be doing that crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, the scouts in it. Boy, he's gonna get that nose put, chopped off. I swear he's gonna get his snout caught in there and they're gonna bite that sucker right off, man. Boo, stop it. Come on over here. Knock it off. Get over there. What is this? It's for you. For me. Yeah. What? Mountain Dew? Yeah, drink it. I seriously it doubt that's Mountain Dew. It is Mountain drink Dew. It. What? I'm not gonna drink it. Open it. It's Mountain Dew. Right, open it up for me. It's really Mountain Dew. They really put Mountain Dew in it. Let me see it. It's from my drink. Alright. Uh, Mountain Dew. It tastes kind of flat. Yeah, because I put a little bit of dirt in it. Ah! <laughs> man. I'm never going to try nothing y'all give me again. That's horrible, man. Look at that. Get out of here. It was your pride. That's what I think of your pride. <laughs> That's what you get for putting dirt in my Mountain Dew. And you That's what you get for well, you got mud on my shoes, boy. Don't trust the kids. Ah. Always trust kids, kids. If kids are watching this, do do the same thing to your uncle. Don't listen to them kids. If you know better than that. Do the same thing. Same thing. Ah. It's stuck in my throat. That's what you get for, for putting cream in Jimmy's hair. Yeah. You did that. You told me to do it. You put cream in his hair. Yeah. Jimmy, he did it. No. I didn't, I didn't even know who did so, but whoever made it up, they got their point. So I want to come out here real quick and uh, give my give my condolences to my friend Frank Needham. His dad is in the hospital right now on a ventilator. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to uh, Frank and, and his family, uh, and uh, hope you hope like, ho hoping the best for you guys, man. Um, I know you know family is all we have, and. Got to stick by him, man, and support him and love him, you know, no matter what, man. So, right there to Frank and his family. Also, Donna Woods, uh, I promised who I promised you that I would that I would tell your son happy birthday past couple of days, and I let you down. And for that, I want to apologize sincerely, and just tell your son Steve once for all, happy late birthday, Steve. Um, <laughs> I apologize. I even took screenshots. If you want to see it, I'll take. I'll show you. I took screenshots <clears throat> like the first couple of days when she asked me to remind myself, and I forgot. So I mean, I get a lot going on, and it just gets to be more and more as you know, subscriber count goes up, and views and and comments uh, go up. So, but I, so I really do apologize, Steve. Uh, happy late birthday, you. So. Right there. <laughs> All right, so I got some mystery peppers in the mail the other day. Uh, talked to my good friend Ted Barris uh, about it. He didn't know what they were. He got me in touch with Steve McLaurin, the creator of the Chocolate Bootla. And he looked at them. He said he didn't know what they were. So, but... You're uh, not going to eat these, are you? I don't know, man. I figured I'd go ahead and give my friend Steve a shout-out while I tried one of these things. So you're gonna yeah. try to give a shout out while eating a freaking unknown pep. I'm, I'm putting it on the record now before you eat this. I don't think you should do it. Yeah, don't do it. Do it. Mm. Oh, dude. All right, so Steve McLaren invented the chocolate bootla. And who says 
I'm not even told hours from it, so. Um, whew. It's kind of bad. Um, it's not as bad as the Reaper, though. Yeah. Uh, only had one. I'm not saying that this is the chocolate bootleg. I'm not saying that because he says it's not. Matter of fact, he says some stuff that I ordered is, isn't the chocolate bootleg either. You look at that, boy. I'm taking this like a champ. This isn't as bad as I thought this was. I don't know what they were, but, yeah, take a look at that. Woo! It's bad, though. Woo! It's bad. Woo! It's getting bad? Ah! Yeah. Woo, it's bad. It is bad. Is it worse than the other ones? No. Remember, I ate three Reapers. Yeah, it's hot. What? Nobody said anything. <laughs> Doug did. He said to smell the peppers. It's hot. Yeah, I'm not. Oh. I'm not over here with milk this time. Y'all are getting ripped. Whew. Whew. But it's hot. Mm. Oh God. What the light hit him? Oh my jeez. Look at my balls. Oh, oh god. Man. Hopefully you didn't just like eat cyanide or something. I don't yeah. say that. It's hot. Steve McLaurin. Oh my God. So would that be hotter? Because you can only take one of them, one of these. Uh, 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 how you doing? I feel lightheaded. Oh wow. My lips are on fire. I wish we knew what this was. You gotta stop eating peppers. Unmarked peppers. <sighs> Charlie? Huh? Don't eat no more unknown. Cause you really don't know what that is. I know it's hot. That's for my dude, Steve. Can't wait for him to ring the bootla. Uh. Getting better? Uh, uh. About the same. Mm. Ah! Uh. Well. I'm trying to be a little more better than I was last time. Last time I went after, I just went ahead and ate three of them, you know? You gotta respect the pepper. Respect the pepper. Whew. Your turn? Oh, hell no. Huh? Hell no. Oh, well, she's smiling. Come on. This song is blazing. Mm. Woo! All the way a bit hot. Mm. I wonder what the bean boozle would taste like. Like now? Probably like nothing. Uh, 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 oh, God. Ah. If we gotta call 911, I don't know what to tell them you consumed something. Don't do it, guys. Know what you're getting into. Somebody could have. Send it to Charlie. Somebody could have injected plutonium. That's what I'm saying. But it was a sealed package. 
from World's Hottest Hot Chili's. I couldn't talk. <laughs> Except for that little injection right there. There's an injection hole. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm gonna call 911. What did you take? If I got you call 911. Should she call? I'm good. I'm good. I had to. I had to call every second. Yeah. Whoo! That was a five alarm for sure. How you feel? I feel a lot better now. I jumped in. <laughs> that was a good remedy. Someone said sugar. <clears throat> I can hardly talk. <sighs> Whoo! Ah! Oh, oh. Whew. all right, that's it. Uh, whew. All right, that's it, guys. I'm calling it. Whew. Just had to go change my clothes, man. Uh, my stomach is killing me. I don't know what, what that was. Like I say, I can't say it was the bootla. I don't know what it was. It was hot, though. Wasn't as floral as the Reaper. Whew. Oh, man, excuse me. But it was bad. <laughs> so, Steve... Uh, that was for you, brother. Ted, that was for you, brother. Thank you guys so very much. And um, I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow, man. Have a great... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I leave, I think tomorrow I'm going to do the uh, uh, the Dark Tower uh, uh, review. Uh, I'm a huge Dark Tower fan. I don't know how many of you are, uh, but I am, for one, I love it. If you're into reading, check them out, man. It's like the best series ever by the best uh, uh, author ever. And... Uh, they're just coming out with a movie or di or mini series or whatever. I don't know yet, but I'm fixing to look into it. I'm gonna watch it. We're gonna see what it is tomorrow. And I'm gonna do a reaction reaction uh, video for that. So um, have fun. Uh, be safe tonight, guys, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.